my name is Shayla, and I have some fun stuff to haul for you. So it's review week, as you guys know, and I decided I was going to break it up a little bit with some other content, because I know not everybody checks out my channel necessarily for reviews. So I went shopping tonight with the husband at GameStop, because we went to go get our shiny Solgaleo and Lunala coats. So while we were there, I did some shopping, and I really love what I picked up, so I wanted to share it all with you. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So I don't talk about this a lot on my channel, but I really love to pick up the Pokemon little plushes. We have a lot of kids that come over and visit our home, and so we get the Pokemon plushes so they have something to play with when they come over with their parents. So it gives us an opportunity to sit and visit with them, but we know that they're playing with something that's safe, and we don't mind if they mess up a little bit. But there's certain ones that we collect just for us, and we keep those a little bit higher, and don't let kiddos play with those. Most of these, I think two out of the three of the Pokemon plushes that we got tonight will be kid approved. This first one is not for sure. And that is Lucario. Lucario is one of our favorite Pokemon. It's specifically Steve's favorite, but I really enjoy Lucario as well. I end up playing with Lucario a lot with its steel fighting type. Plus he just looks so cool. I love him lots. And this one looks really good and feels really good. So we opted to get one of him. Next up, this one was just too freaking cute and I had to pick it up. So this is a Celebi for the Halloween Parade, I think is what it's called. Oh, Pumpkin Parade, sorry. So this is the Pokemon Pumpkin Parade Celebi. So it has this little like magic wand and this little fairy hat and I just die. It's too freaking cute. I just love it so much and it makes my heart happy and judge me all you want, but I just don't freaking care. And the last little Pokemon plush that we picked up tonight was a little Pumpkaboo because it's Halloween and it was just too cute and just the perfect size for a little tiny person to hold on to. So I really like it. I think it's adorable and yes. All right, while we were there, I also picked up some Funkos. So let's go ahead and dive right into those. So the first one that I got was actually on their clearance rack. And I think it's because the box is a little bit damaged, but the pop inside is just great. So we got Shere Khan from Tailspin. Tailspin was one of my favorite cartoons as a child and I really loved it. And this Shere Khan looks so cool and he's so detailed. I think I will pop him out of the box because the box isn't in good condition. It makes me want to kind of hunt down the other Tailspin pops because looking at the back of the box, they look really cool. So here he is out of the box. And he looks so good. He even has like the little tiger detail on the back of his neck and he's just in his suit and he looks so good. And I was really excited that we found him. So the next pop that I got also kind of has a slightly dented box. So I think that's why it was in their clearance. But again, the pop inside is just fine. And that is the Princess Leia from Return of the Jedi. And she just looks so good. I really like her. I've always liked Princess Leia, especially in the original generation. I think they're dragging her out these days, but that's a personal thing. And again, I really, really like her. I liked the detail on her hair a lot. I'm sure a lot of pop collectors are like, what are you doing? She is a bobblehead. And yes, I just love all the detail of her hair. I thought it was so fantastically done. And yeah, so here's a little Leia Baba head for you all, and I think she's adorable. I'm glad we added her to our little home collection. The next two I probably won't take out of their boxes, so fair warning. <laughs> so this first one is a GameStop exclusive, and it is the Hello Kitty Gamer Edition, and she's so cute, oh my gosh. So she's got her little pink headphones, and she's got a little yellow controller with pink buttons, and it's a whole headset. You can kind of get a better idea there. But she, this is just kind of got it tucked back. So I am tempted to kind of take her out, but I kind of don't want to because she's just so cute and she's in such good condition. I think this is pretty new. So I was really excited when I found her and I kind of fell in love with her really fast. She was not on my planned to buy list. I will tell you that right now. And she just kind of stole my heart, so here she is. And then last but not least, this was kind of the reason I was checking out the pops at all, and that is the VT21 Koya. <laughs> These just dropped my particular GameStop 
had, I think, almost all of them, if not all of them. And I just had to have Koya because if you aren't aware, Namjoon slash RM is my bias. And so they all looked super good. And so I thought I'd get Koya's first. I may go back and get the others, but my spending budget was done for the day. So anyways, yeah, I'm just really excited to have a Koya to add to my very small pop collection. So friends, that is it for this particular haul. I don't really talk about the stuff I pick up at GameStop very often, especially not on this channel. This is the first time I've ever done one of these. So I thought you guys would enjoy it as a small break from all of the reviews. So I hope you enjoyed it and yes. So let me know what you guys think. If you want me to continue to haul the stuff that I get from GameStop, let me know in the comments down below and I will talk to you guys later.